Welcome, Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights. Another card wall video, starting with Jack Ham and going all the way up through Harper, which I'll tell you it's Derek Harper, the Mavs legend and announcer. But starting with Jack Ham, mainstay linebacker for the great Steeler teams from Penn State. But unlike Jack Lambert, it seemed like Jack Ham was the kinder, gentler. I don't think he was trying to take anybody's head off, but he was a smart, fast, really good linebacker. Thanks, sponsors. Again, they are been with me, and I appreciate that. Josh Hamilton, next in the alphabet. I'm probably going to keep this one on there. I've had him on for a while, and I'll probably have him on. And this just dominant really fits, even though it's a 7 with a 10 autograph. This is before he was dominant. He was so dominant. And here's the just candidates. They're autographed. But it's, it's such a cautionary tale that the wheels can come off for some of these guys, even though they got the sweetest swing. Becky Hammond, a uh, really good uh, basketball player, uh, but she's been mentioned so many times as a potential NBA future head coach. I'm not sure that will ever happen. I hope it happens if that's a, a good choice for somebody. I don't like people to be chosen for things unless they're the best person for the job. And it, 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 there may be a situation where that occurs for her or some other female to be a coach of an NBA team and, and more power to them. And we'll see. But I, I don't think Becky's going to be on the wall because that's not a sure thing. If she does make the wall, that's a great conversation and a great honor uh, for her to have that, that opportunity. I hope she does well. Scott Hamilton, Olympian. Again, Olympics are sports. Figure skating certainly is it requires power and grace and speed and balance and all those things. I have some of, but not enough to be an Olympic uh, skater. Scott Hamilton was uh, training. He was from Bowling Green. He trained there when I was there, and I've met him at some stuff uh, around here. Uh, he's got a very inspiring story. And he's going to stay on my wall. This is autographed and a really good card. Rodney Hampton. Uh, I really enjoy minor league and college cards, but I don't have a Georgia connection, so he's not going to be on there. Uh, Jim Harbaugh, back in the news. Sometimes the news about him is not always so great, but he's in the news, and he's a very intense competitor. So that's a nice-looking card. Uh, John Hanna. I put this on here. I, I don't think it's going to make the – I'm going to hold on to this card because it's the only – 9.5 I have from 75 tops. I've got a close friend that's an Alabama nut, and so that would be outstanding in terms of grade card. Tim Hardaway Sr. Uh, from UTEP, so it's in the state, and he had the great crossover when you weren't allowed to palm quite as much. So a great player. Tim Hardaway Jr., if he stays with the Mavs, he's he's been a great six man, so we'll see. He's another candidate. But Penny Hardaway will always be on the wall. Little Penny, we, we did a magazine about Little Penny that was not appreciated. But I'm just going to throw out some good cards here. That's Jam, Galaxy, Big Men on Court. So the problem is which one? I really only can take one. Uh, Platinum Portraits, Golden Touch, Slam Cam, Rageous, and Noise Boys. And the winner is Noise Boys. I'm going to put Noise Boys up there for a while and let people observe that. It just shows the vernacular of the times. Harry Hargrave, you don't know him, but I do. I'm keeping it on the wall until he comes over here. He has two homes, but one of them's near here. When he comes over, I will show him that he's on the wall, but he otherwise does not deserve to be on the wall, even though he was a really good college player at SMU, where I was. Mark Harmon, uh, perhaps better known for being an actor, but he was the starting quarterback at UCLA, and he had interest in some uh, minor league franchise. I watched pretty much all the NCIS episodes on the treadmill, so that was good. This is Tommy Harmon. That's Mark Harmon's dad. And so I've had him on there, but he's probably going to be moving to the back. And then there is no Mike Harper. It's Derek Harper, but Star Company, again, just to editorialize, Star Company was very lean. It, even they were the licensee, they were never considered a major manufacturer. Okay, They had a very small virtual kind of operation. They did pretty much ink on paper, so there weren't a lot of special in the collation. They weren't doing packs, so they kept it simple, and yet you'd think they'd get the name, but mistakes happen. But I know when we were doing the magazines, 
we got to get the name right. <laughs> if you're off by one on somebody's hit total for the year, that's different than misspelling uh, his or her name. And then, anyway, so it's Derek Harper, not Mike, but the one I'll probably keep is his Illinois uh, Arby's Roast Beef uh, College set. Because I do see those occasionally, so they're not super rare. But if there's a thousand of them out there, and at any one time, are there five or ten of them available for sale? I don't know. I just think they're interesting cards, and they show him before he was as he was a really good college player. So he was still successful, but he's gone on to excel in several things. Thanks, everybody. That's it for the H's, and I'll be back again with another episode.